Welcome. I'm Kim Dawson, Communications Director of ERP SimLab. The objective for this series of training videos is to prepare instructors to use ERP Sim to conduct simulation-based training events. They comprise the bulk of the training needed for instructors to be successful, but must be augmented with hands-on practice and additional follow-up training. We'll put ourselves in the position of the typical participant of a simulation event. We will learn, as the participant would, the basic mechanics of the simulation, the business context, and those parts of the ERP software which we will need to master to get access to information and make our decisions. To accomplish this, we'll familiarize ourselves with what is known as the distribution sim, the shortest and simplest of the simulations that we can experience. ERP sim is a unique business simulation technology developed at HEC Montreal Business School. It enables the simulation of near real-life business contexts of large corporate information systems. There are other simulation games that allow participants to take a strategic view of an enterprise, but ERP SIM is closely coupled with an enterprise system, namely SAP. Participants must use the actual ERP system in a way that is very similar to how they would do so if they were working for a company that used such a technology. So what is it exactly that ERP SIM does if it's entangled with an ERP system such as SAP? ERP SIM serves three functions. First, it provides a population of customers with various preferences and price sensitivities so that the participants of the simulation have a reasonable buyer's market that responds meaningfully to their decisions. Second, ERP SIM automates some of the business functions that are more clerical to free participants to focus on decision-making processes. Retaining this data, but generating it automatically, enables the full experience of the ERP system. The value of detailed reports and decision support tools that exist in the system are not sacrificed or trivialized. The third and final aspect that ERP SIM provides is the simulation of the passing of time. ERP SIM compresses time into a short space, creating the appearance of time evolving so that decisions can be visualized, their impact evaluated, then changed, and re-evaluated. Every minute, the simulator reads data from the ERP system to examine the decisions taken by the participants and writes new data according to the outcomes of those decisions. For more information about the history and purpose of using simulation games and how to use them as teaching tools, watch the companion videos available on our website. In this first business simulation, you will experience the complete business cycle from planning through sales, also sometimes referred to as full cash-to-cash -cash business cycle. In the distribution sim, participants must operate the full business cycle, plan, procure, and sell, of a distribution company. Specifically, you will operate a wholesale distribution company that sells bottled water. During the simulation, you will take control of this company and make all key decisions. For the most part, functions that are required to operate the company, but which are not decisions, are automated by the simulator. For example, creating and sending invoices to customers or sending payments to vendors. This will free you and your colleagues to focus on the more strategic aspects of operating this wholesaler. You have competitors, both in terms of other bottled water distributors and other beverage products in general. Your goal is to maximize the profit of your company. You'll operate the company for 60 simulated days, split into three rounds of 20 days each. Your interface for the simulation is SAP, an actual ERP system. Just like you would while working for a real company, you will use the ERP system to run reports, analyze the necessary information to make your decisions, and then take these decisions by entering or adjusting information in the ERP system itself. The objective here is not to become an SAP expert, but to simply allow you to use the system in context in order to understand how it can be used to run an enterprise. Through this experience, you will develop a hands-on understanding of the concepts underlying enterprise systems and experience the benefits of enterprise integration firsthand. You're not alone in this endeavor. You will share management responsibility for this business with up to three other team members. Your goal is to ensure the profitability of your organization. You'll be able to track profitability and other performance measures by using standard reports in the system. Please note that it is entirely feasible to experience the simulation by yourself, typically for training and practice purposes. You can compete against other remote participants or just against the computer. However, for actual events, team-based play is the preferred mode. 
Your customer base is the German market. This market has been segmented into three regions, north, south, and west. The bottled water you sell is available in three flavors and two sizes, natural spring water, carbonated water, and lemon-flavored carbonated water, each in one liter and 500 milliliter formats. Since you are a wholesale distributor, your target customers are small retailers throughout the country. You only ship these products in boxes of 12 or 24 bottles, dependent on the two size formats. This market is highly competitive because products are simple and generic mass consumption items. You share this market with other wholesale distributors in Germany, as well as substitute products. Your customer base is essentially small retailers throughout the country identified in the SAP system as a distribution channel, specifically channel 14. You have essentially two mechanisms by which to attract and retrain your customers, pricing and marketing. The pricing decision is national. You must charge the same price to all customers. For marketing, you have more granularity as you can independently market each of your six products differently across the three regions. Marketing is persuasive. That's to say, marketing influences your customers to buy your brand instead of your competitors, but not how much water they will drink. The size of the demand in a region is fairly stable and is mainly influenced by price. On average, the market share per company can be expected to be around 6,000 euros of sales orders per day. Since you are a wholesale distributor, you do not directly manufacture the product you sell. You have a strong relationship with a single supplier who charges you a fairly stable price throughout the simulation. The following table contains the prices charged by the supplier for each of the six different products available. Your supplier also only ships these products in boxes of 12 bottles of 1 liter or 24 bottles of 500 milliliters, so the price you see here are per box. The simulation will last for 60 simulated days. We'll split these into three rounds of 20 days each. A typical business flow begins with planning based on some kind of demand forecasting, then procurement of the necessary product to meet that demand, and finally, sales and delivery to the customer. In the simulation, however, you will learn this process in reverse. This way, you get to master step-by-step step the full process. In the first round, you will concentrate only on sales. You begin with an existing inventory of product. Later, you will learn how to replenish and adjust your planning strategies. The pace of the simulation will be about 20 minutes for each round, or roughly one minute per simulated day. Since we have non-perishable products, any inventory at the end of a round is carried over and remains available for sale at the beginning of the next round. Due to the competitive nature of the industry, customers will not place advance orders for a product that you do not have in stock. They will simply purchase from somebody else instead. Customers will place one single order for all desired products simultaneously. Thus, if you do not have a full range of product in stock, or if you do not have competitive prices on all your products, you are likely to lose many orders to your competition. Your sole objective is to maximize your profits. Your shareholders are not interested in your market share, only that you generate profit.